Hi Barry, here today I'm going to talk to you about the Phantom VO 4K. This is Vision Research's latest camera and we absolutely love it because it's small, it's compact and uh, it shoots exactly the same 1000 frames per second 4K RAW as the Phantom Flex 4K. I'm going to say that again, 1000 frames per second in 4K RAW. This particular camera is capable of either shooting with a rolling shutter or a global shutter. Um, it records onto internal CFAST 2 cards um, and is sufficiently small and lightweight, it's only 12.9 centimeters and it weighs 2.5 kilos without the viewfinder, that it can go anywhere. You can put it on a crane, you can put it on a drone, and if you're going to put it that far away, you can even use this external wireless uh, control unit, which will allow you to control the cameras in exactly the camera in exactly the same way as if you were controlling it locally. All of these cameras work in the same kind of way in that you can't record directly onto your external media. It's quite easy if you think about it. A 4K RAW file is very big and to be able to record a thousand of them, thousand of them every second requires such a phenomenal amount of data throughput that no recording medium exists on earth that would be practical for you to use. So all of them work that uh, you record onto the internal super fast RAM storage and then you offload onto an external medium. The VO4K records onto its own internal RAM and then outputs onto the CFAST2 cards. Uh, these are great because they're inexpensive and they're very small. Um, and the real benefit of using this camera is that you can record on multiple um, partitions. So it gives you the capability to record more than one take and then treat each one as a separate uh, store. Other benefits are that it only draws 80 watts of power. That means that you can use a couple of uh, mini VLOC batteries, which will power you all day and make it very, very portable for you to uh, uh, use wherever you like. You can use it on the shoulder. Uh, it's remarkably simple to use. Um, we like to teach people how to use it so that you don't need an external DIT. And because it offloads onto CFAST2 cards, you then don't need to worry about very fast um, onset storage. Another important consideration is what lenses you should be using. Fundamentally, if you're going to be recording super slow motion, you're going to need as much light as you, as you can possibly use. And that means that you want to use the fastest lenses. Uh, normally that would mean that you need to use the, the best and most expensive master prime lenses, but actually we like to give you a choice and can offer the camera in either EF, PL or Nikon mount, depending on what lenses are best for you. Uh, Phantom VO4K, higher now from VMI.